The fierce deity armor set and weapon are back in Tears of the Kingdom, and no, you don't need an amiibo to be able to get them. We're going to be going over exactly how to get this armor set and weapon at the beginning of the game, and I definitely recommend you do because not only does it look awesome, but the attack up bonus is pretty sweet as well. Not only that, but once you collect all the armor pieces, you can get a fierce deity sword with 38 damage. For a starting weapon, the fierce deity sword is really strong, but we're also going to be showing you how to make it even stronger. We can turn it into a 64 damage Nadra blade, which is going to freeze our targets, which can completely destroy most targets in the game, because not only do we get the freeze effect from it, but we also have high damage as well. So you're definitely not gonna wanna skip this one and definitely take advantage of being able to get this amazing weapon and armor at the beginning of the game. The attack up bonus on the Fierce Deity armor is pretty great, but once you upgrade all pieces to level two, it'll also have an additional effect of being able to reduce the amount of stamina it takes for one of those charge attacks. Now I do wanna mention that you can still get the Fierce Deity outfit from the Majora's Mask Amiibo. Like just right now, we got the Fierce Deity Sword. So if you do have the Majora's Mask Amiibo, you can still get the entire armor set and the weapon from this, but you can also get a free one from the world as well. As I mentioned, all of these pieces can be gotten at the beginning of the game, as long as you don't get hit by lightning. I'm kind of actually a little scared running across this bridge right now. But the first piece that we're going to get is just southwest of Lookout Landing. There is a shrine right here that you can get. You're going to want to make your way to Mount Daphne's and then into this little area right here. There's a bridge that you can cross. And we want to jump right inside of this bad boy. There's going to be a booble frog down here. Make sure to shoot that bad boy. You're going to want these for another armor set we're going to cover in another video. Now, after you kill your little booble frog, you're going to want to head kind of to the south corner of this. And there's going to be these vines right here. You can use a fire arrow or something like this, but you probably don't have a lot of arrows at the beginning of the game. And I really don't want you to waste them. So we're going to burn our way through just by throwing those fire fruits. Try not to catch yourself on fire. You're going to want to climb up this little root right here just to get up into this next part of the cave. Try not to run out of stamina. Jump in the red if you have to. Don't jump in the green because you're going to waste your stamina. Just keep climbing all the way to the top and you're going to find another hole with some vines in it. Just cut these bad boys down. I don't know why I lit the other ones on fire. And then go collect your precious prize from the chest. The Fierce Deity Boots. Next, we're going to head northeast from Central Hyrule. If you want to stop and get this Skyview Tower, you can yeet yourself out of it, and then you're going to want to fly slash fall your way farther east, all the way over to the Akala Citadel Ruins. If you're wondering how I was able to land from the sky without using a glider, definitely check out my video on how to get the glide set with the impact proof bonus, which means you can actually fall from any height and never take any damage. It's pretty phenomenal. While you're here, you're probably going to want to pick up this shrine, and then we're going to head back down to this corner of the citadel right here, this back left corner. We're going to go around this corner, and if we can jump up here because it's raining, we should be good. And then there's this little hole in the wall right here. Sneak your way into that hole, and then we're going to jump down and the chest is right in front of us and wham bam thank you bam you've got the fierce deity armor now we're gonna head to the very top right corner of the map to skull lake you can use the Ulri Mountain Skyview Tower if you want. It might help if you have enough stamina to be able to fly your way all the way over here, but quite frankly, it's probably going to be more realistic that you're going to have to climb up this tower because what we're going to try and do is actually land on the top of this tower because we need to jump down this little hole right here. If you can't land on the top of it, you're going to have to climb your way up from the bottom. If you want to get Endura Carrots before trying to do this, you can travel south through Central Hyrule. You can stop at the Highland Stable, but essentially where we're going to go is to the old Horse God location. On this cliff right right here is going to be three Endura Carrots, which will help you with this. Man, I do love this glide suit. So we do want to just get right down into this hole. There will be a few monsters down here as well. They're just Bacoblins or the dead Bacoblins, so it's nothing too serious. There is quite a few of them though, so just keep that in mind. We can skip most of these if we just jump right by them. We just want to continue through this cave. Now we can use a bomb on this, or if you have something that's a hammer, you can actually use your hammer to get through this wall instead. On the other side of this wall is gonna be a dead moblin, which I've actually never encountered before, but just take out the monsters in here or run away from them, whatever your heart desires. You do not have to fight this Stalnox if you don't want to. All we really need to do is climb up this central pillar here, and there's going to be a chest that we can open. Once you open it, you're gonna get the Fierce Deity Mask. Now it's time to get the Fierce Deity Sword. If you don't wanna fight these Stalnox, go ahead and start heading southwest back towards the ruins that we got 
got the chest piece in and you're going to head west to Cephala Lake. And there is a cave right here that we need to go to. Make sure to have the full fierce deity armor equipped at this point. At this point, you're going to want to make sure you have the full fierce deity set equipped. And we're going to head back towards the cave here where the two guys are sitting. Once we try and go inside, they're going to try and stop us. They're going to tell us about Misko's treasure and that they've been unable to find the treasure inside. We're actually going to unlock another piece of armor and the Fierce Deity Sword at the same time. This other armor set I'm going to be covering in full in another video, so keep an eye out for that. You're really going to like it. But what we need to do is there's this cute little doggo here. The first time I did this, I just used Prime Meat. I don't think any meat works, but you do need to give it enough for it to love you. So I'm just going to drop five Prime Meat. And what we need to do is just sit here and wait for it to slowly but happily eat through this food. It'll start to walk away and then it'll come back to the food. It'll probably take another bite and you'll see hearts and it'll get happy every single time. Just keep paying attention to this dog. Don't let it go out of your sight. Eventually you'll hear a little noise and the dog will start prancing off towards the cave. We need to follow this dog into the cave for something very important. Don't let the dog get too far away from you because it might glitch and turn around. Now once you enter the cave with the fierce deity outfit equipped, you're actually going to get a cutscene of that door opening. One of the prerequisites for that is having all three pieces equipped when you enter this cave. But we're going to continue following this dog because I don't know if we can get it again and I don't want you to miss this particular part. The dog is going to lay next to this chest right and once it lays in front of a chest, just use Ultra Hand and grab onto that. You can knead it out of the ground, open that bad boy up, and you're going to get the Ember Trousers. I'll cover this full set in another video. Our two friends are going to come bother you because you found the chest that they've been looking for this whole time. And they're actually going to pull out a riddle for the quest line that we just did. I suppose we could have started here, but I wanted to really just get into the video rather than teasing you all a little bit. So this bottle letter actually goes over the Fierce Deity outfit and to get those pieces and to come back here. Just head all the way back here, open up this chest and whip out your wonderful Fierce Deity Sword. Now I've left out the best part of the Fierce Deity Sword. If or when it breaks, you can actually rebuy it. If you head to Lookout Landing, you can head to the Poe statue here. Now Poe's are very interesting because they're very similar to fairies. And by that I mean the more Poe's you unlock, the more things you'll be able to buy from them. So when you talk to a Poe, you can ask it for a Brethren location, and every time you do this it's going to cost more Poe's. Now to find these additional Poe's, you're going to have to head into the depths. You can enter the depths through these holes in the ground, and there's one that I recommend going through just south of Lookout Landing. Now what's great about this is when you go down to the depths, it's basically a direct inverse of the map above. So there's going to be a light route right here, which is going to light up this entire area. And you're going to want to start heading southeast from this area to this Plains Bargainer statue right here. This guy is going to be kind of up on this cliff. And once you talk to him, he's going to increase the pose power. So you're going to see a bunch of new things. These are all of the amiibos. These are all of the additional armors that you can get and rebuy with pose if you so desire. And the Fierce Deed sword is here for 160 pose. Now, if you want to figure out how to get the Hylian shield at the beginning of the game with a 90 defense, I recommend checking out this video on the top right. 